Okay, in this video, I'm going to try and explain something that baffled me when I was in school. What is a function? What does f of x mean? What does y equals f of x actually mean? And should you be afraid of it? And the answer is, you should definitely not be afraid of it, because all this is, is it's the ingredients. I hope I spelled this right. The ingredients. So, first of all, what is a function? Uh, okay, what is a function? So, say, let me think now. Okay, a function describes the the ingredients you need to do something. So, say for example, just 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 let me let me try and um, let me try and uh, explain or try and give you a sense of it. Say, I wanted to make a dinner. All right. So, dinner. If you go to a cookbook, you will be given the ingredients. So you'll say y, your dinner is a function, f means function, so in other words, it depends on it, or the ingredients for dinner are the following. You might say, we'll say breakfast actually, breakfast is probably an easier one. You might say breakfast is a function of milk, cereal, and um, spoon, um, bowl, like that. Breakfast is a function of milk, cereal, spoon, bowl. In order to get my breakfast, or make a breakfast, I need milk, cereal, spoon, bowl. That's what that means. So, you could also write this, y, or we'll say, we'll call it b. Breakfast is a function of milk, cereal, spoon, bowl. Like that. So, b, breakfast, depends on how much milk, cereal, how many spoons or whatever in the bowl, the size of your bowl, depends on all those different things. Those are the ingredients for your breakfast. Similarly, the one you've probably seen the whole time is y is equal to f of x. What does that mean? That means the ingredients of y, in this case there's only one ingredient and it's x. So in order to make y, I need x. Okay? So, we'll say... Um, uh, we'll say x is equal to uh, 2x, like this. Oh, yeah. So basically, this is function of x because it only involves x. So we might have y is equal to 2x. How does how is y made? Why is it, the ingredients of y are x in 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 2x squared? So uh, I might have what if x is 1? Well, if x is 1, y is equal to 2. If x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2, 2's are 4, 2, 4's are 8, if x is equal to 3, 3, 3's are 9, times 2 is 18. So, y depends on x, the ingredients are x. But what if you have, what if, what if you had this, y is a function of x, z, and a. That means, in order to know y, I need to know x, z, and a. The ingredients of y are x, z, and a. So what if, um, it ma what if the actual function was y is equal to um, x, 2, x, z, a. So that's the actual function. This, first, this tells you what, it, what the ingredients are, and this tells you how the ingredients are actually used. So, for example, your cookbook might say, have cereal, have a bowl, and something else. Whereas this will tell you, it will say, well, have a bowl that's this big, use 500 milliliters of, of, of milk, use 20 grams of cornflakes. That's what this would be. Whereas this would just say, use milk, bowl, cereal, something. It won't tell you exactly what you need. So what if x is equal to 1, um, z is equal to 1, and a is equal to 2? Well, therefore, a y would be twice 1 times 1 times 2 is equal to 4. So y depended on x, z, and a through this arrangement of, uh, of this, through this formula, and it gave us the answer of 4 in the case where x is 1, z is 1, and a is 2. So, that's all a function is. Now, if we're graphing things, we're always graphing things in, in school. So, what about a graph? Well, I'm sure you know that there are three dimensions. You can have x, y, and z. In school, you usually only deal with x and y. Now, I said y doesn't have to be a function of x. We could have 
I don't know, we could have C and um, A. And you could say C is a function of A, it could be, maybe it is. Or it could be the other way around, maybe A is a function of C. So you need to know C in order to know A. Anyway, usually we say in school Y is a function of X. So in order to, the ingredients of Y are X, and the, the, the way it's made up, Y might be equal to uh, 2X. So how would you graph that? Well, you'd, well, the reason you graph things is just so you can visually see something happening. So you might go, well, if x is 1, y is 2, so it might be up here. If x is 2, y is 4. And you might get this line up here. This might be the line y is equal to 2x. And y is a function of x. So remember, this tells you the ingredients. y requires x. In or, in or, you need to know x in order to have y. And this tells you exactly how many x's you need in order to get y. Just like this breakfast C is, equal to, is a function of milk, cereal and spoon, y is a function of x. And we said, for example, we might have said that breakfast, um, breakfast is equal to, two, uh, we'll say, 500 milk plus one bowl plus whatever. And that part... That part would be equivalent. That part would be equivalent to the y is equal to two x. So one part tells you just the ingredients. There they are there, and the second part will say y is two x might be equivalent to breakfast is five hundred milliliters of milk plus a bowl plus a spoon plus twenty grams of cereal. So that is what a function is. Now, can we get any other functions? Um, what other functions? Like I said, it's just. The way of uh, visualizing it, it's just the ingredients that you use to make it up. So can we think of any other functions? What if we go for, what is the function for getting dressed? Getting dressed is a function of pants um, a t t-shirt shoes. We'll just say that. I know what it means. <laughs> anyway, okay. So in order to get dressed you need pants, shoes and a t-shirt. Then you might go getting dressed you might physically specify how many is equal to one pants, um, a medium t-shirt, uh, size 10 shoes, something like that. And then you might want to graph it. So how would you graph this? We go, we'd say this might be pants, this might be t-shirt, and we'll have to draw another axis because we have three, another dimension, and then we might call this shoes. Now look, I don't know how I might graph this, but like I don't know. You might say one pant, one where's pants? One pants might be here. Uh, a medium t-shirt might be here on that graph and ten, size 10 shoes might be up here so I would go uh, how do we draw this, this is this is hard, drawing in 3D uh, you know something, drawing in 3D is something I'm not good at so it might be up here, there, so I would have how do we do this now I don't know, It's <laughs> my drawing in 3D is terrible so I might have this point up here in 3D space is my my the, the point for getting shoes where I have one pants, one t-shirt, a medium t-shirt and size 10 shoes. So, look, I hope that tries to give you a feel of what a function is. There's no need to be afraid of it. You might say to yourself, well, why, I, I remember saying this to myself, I said, y is equal to function of x. And then you might say, y is equal to 2x. And you should say to myself, well, why just write? Why not just write y is equal to 2x? Why always say y is a function of x and then say y is 2x? Well, I'll just give you one example as to why you actually do that. Now in school you might, you see, in school you do not see enough examples to actually, to, to be able to, um, to be able to think like that. You'll, you might just say, why, does, why not have just y is equal to 2x? What if I said that, uh, what if I said that, okay, we'll say breakfast, I'm going to say b is a function of, um, let me think, we'll say bowl, spoon, uh, milk, right? 
and it's a uh, Frosties, um, Corn Flakes, and um, uh, Porridge. So in order to make a breakfast, they are all the ingredients I can possibly have. But say today I don't want to make a breakfast with all of those. I say today's breakfast is equal to is equal to one bowl plus one spoon plus um, uh, twenty uh, kilogram or sorry uh, twenty um, grams of porridge. There's my function. So we'll say the top one would be B is equal to a function of B S M F C P. However, B is equal to one B plus one S plus two P, like that. So look, the top one specified all the possible ingredients, whereas this one down here specified one particular one. You could also say, well, this time B is going to be a function of a bowl plus a spoon plus um, twenty frosties, or B is equal to one bowl, one spoon, and I don't know cornflakes. We'll say twenty cornflakes. So the point is that you don't, you're not always using all of your ingredients. However, in school, you almost always are using all your ingredients. Y is a function of x. You're always using it because you only, it, it's only got one ingredient, so you can never have a y unless you have an x. But if y was maybe a function of x z and a well then you'd say okay these are all the possible ingredients if this time y might be equal to 2x y might be equal to 4z y might be equal to um, 6a plus 4z plus um, x over 2 and look oh sorry you couldn't see that they're all different but yet here this specified all the impossible all the possible I spell that right? I mean, you can never spell, anyway. spell all has all the possible ingredients. So, like I said, I hope that gives you a, um, a feel as to what a function is. I hope you're not afraid of them. Uh, comment, please. Any any comments you have, suggestions, perhaps, or if you have any other questions, feel free, of course, to ask them. Uh, thanks for watching. Pass this on to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel.